Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at some of the scenery added by the Australia update. We are going to fly from Brisbane to Melbourne, flying through of course Sydney and taking a look at some of the sites along the way. We are not covering all of the points of interest available but we're going for this area first and I think I'll take it in two trips uh, from Brisbane to Sydney first and then Sydney to Melbourne afterwards. Uh, but we are going to fly in the F-35B by India Fox Techo because I believe it is the best thing to use for sightseeing. Uh, we can basically hover or at least get to really low speeds. And I have made sure to fill it up to the brim. And they have done updates to it. It uh, has been updated twice since the last time I flew it. And I think that its afterburner is fixed. I had problems with the afterburner not providing extra thrust in the last time I flew it in a video. Uh, so I do believe that that is corrected, but uh, we'll see and uh, probably we will see during these long legs a bit and we'll give it a little bit of a test uh, between here and Sydney. So hopefully all these points are gonna pop up on my VFR map, otherwise I won't remember every single one of the sites that we're trying to hit here. Uh, let's see, let this, let's find out how it goes. Okay, so we're here at Oki Airbase in, well, close to Toowoomba. Got the track IR on. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, so, yes, I'm just going to take off conventionally, even though this can take off in STOL style, because I want to save fuel on that. Uh, actually, let's double check that we've got all our fuel. Sometimes it only gives me half my fuel. And I'll try and make sure to turn the track IR off when I'm out here, but for now they'll do. Okay, here we go. I need to create sort of a dead zone for the track IR though. Okay, this thing can accelerate pretty well as it is. So let's turn that down a bit. Wow, 500 knots already. <laughs> so, welcome to Australia. Oh, it's not showing me the line of my path here. Oh wait, there's some of it. Not a whole lot of it though. I'm sure there'll be a lot of sites in Brisbane though. It is a uh, photogrammetry city. Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne are photogrammetry cities on our way, but there are others as well. I think there's like 10 or 11. Smooth as silk. Of course, staying low, we're going to be consuming fuel pretty prodigiously. Not perfect. Okay, well, whatever this waypoint is, it's in 10 nautical miles. Alright, let's get some air braking. Okay, now we're doing hovering. Alright. All right, three nautical miles away from the target. Check gear. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're not trying to use landing gear. Everything looks sorted out there. Okay. As long as we're pointing down, it'll tell me to check gear, I guess. I guess this is the big pineapple. But if maybe this is not the pineapple part, because we're still one nautical mile away. I don't know what this is, but it is not the pineapple. Not yet reached a pineapple. Just cruising along at highway speeds here now. Oh, I think I see maybe a pineapple. Is it an observatory? Or... I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> okay. Oop.
Well, although there's the pineapple. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Hold on, hold on. I was totally looking at the wrong building. I mean, not that the pineapple is a building. I was looking at a building and missed the pineapple. Well, well, it's, it's a big pineapple. <laughs> what can I say? That building is more interesting to me, though. Alright, on to the next waypoint. This is Sunshine Coast. I mistook where we were. Um, CYDR is Calondra Aerodrome. So the big pineapple is close to Sunshine Coast and not Brisbane. Okay. You know, it'd be better if I used this map, maybe. Kabul Ture. Ture. Okay. And Brisbane down there. Now well, let's see how far out this photogrammetry extends, I suppose. I can sort of see the border of it there, I think. This is all autogen. Well, let's take a look at Brisbane International here. YBBN. I don't know if they did anything special with it in particular. Those terminals don't seem particularly spiffy. Yeah, I think this is pretty basic. Oh, no, uh, some additional detail as we got closer, but nothing to write home about. Okay, but let's switch modes. Gotta think more helicopterish with this in this mode. Well, whatever is in front of us looks interesting. Well, some sort of tanker there. Well, going under the bridge will be a breeze in this thing, isn't it? Unless they haven't got the colliders right and they've got a wall there. Hmm. So there's the gateway bridges, I guess. Oh, the water surface has gotten all crackly. Okay, we are going under. Oh, 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 huh, that's weird. It suddenly snapped me to the ground and then, but I didn't crash, it didn't give me the black screen stuff. Huh. Interesting. Maybe my ground clearance wasn't that much, but we didn't crash. It was weird. I haven't had quite that experience with, with it so far. Well. Something new every time you fly below a bridge, I guess. Okay, well, let's head over to downtown. Oh, it lowered our landing gear. I did not do that. That, I guess, was the bump. It automatically lowered the landing gear. Because it thought I was too low. Oh. Cameras messed up. Okay, well, there's probably a ton of sights here. The next thing I've got is this the GABA, but it's probably gonna be a lot of stuff here, and I won't know which one is the GABA. So. <laughs> that one looks nice. I guess that one is uh, specially done. That's a not just a photogrammetry building, that's a custom one. Uh, there's a couple more custom ones over there. Let's come around. 
Ooh, that, that, that uh, set of buildings looks nice. Perhaps a GABA? Uh, nope, that is not a GABA. That is another thing. Oh, maybe the GABA is the stadium. It's always a stadium. Figures. I thought the GABA was an interesting name for something. Normally, stadiums are called stadium, but not in this case. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll check out the stadium. Obviously, landing in the middle of it sh should be easy enough, but uh, we won't do that. And we're going to go a little bit higher to cover the ground to our next destination. I think I'll pick up some extra fuel at Gold Coast Airport. That's at YBCG. I don't think I can get all the way to Sydney while doing all this hovering and all. Well, maybe we should test out the afterburner, huh? So, let's verify that this is... First of all, let's get beyond the speed of sound on non-afterburner, but this because this can. Let's see... Okay, if I hold it right here, we're at 612 indicated. 610, okay, that's a little bit lower. I want to keep it constant. Okay, 604, and then afterburner. Oh, yeah, so we're getting extra thrust here when we ap apply the afterburner. As we should, of course. Uh, it was having some problems with that previously. Okay, so now I'm going to do a deep dive. <laughs> okay. Well, that is a bunch of buildings. <laughs> One of them is the Q1 Tower. This Gold Coast. Well, I think it's that that one right to our left right now. Because it's the best rendered one. It's obviously a custom model. And then this Burley Head national park over here why does it just not show it to me when I'm at certain zooms anyway now it shows me that sea bus super stadium but not the national park oh well, I think I see the super stadium Okay. That's a complex of buildings over there. That seems like a theme park kind of thing. I mean, there's something going on there. I'm gonna try one more time for Burleyhead National Park, but... Uh, I think we basically just flew over it anyway. I guess maybe this is it? Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna land at Gold Coast Airport and pick up some fuel. Uh, why should I take up the runway? Let me just go over to the apron. Should be low enough on fuel that I can straight up hover. Up, oh, I think we're going back. No, we're still going forwards. Well, I'm gonna need to practice that. I think I have to do a whole lot of nose up. Yep, okay, I'm running out of space here. Oh, that thought. Uh, okay, here. Hello! Hello there. You're just in the right place at the right time, as a matter of fact. Not really. Well, I mean, I don't think they'll get sucked in, because the fan is sucking things from upward, right? 
Well, anyway, I'll just uh, grab the fuel right now. Hey, what's behind me? Oh, he just narrowly avoided that thing. Or probably destroyed it. <laughs> probably destroyed it. Okay. We are fully loaded. How quickly can we take off exactly? Make sure we don't kill this person. I think we should be able to take off in the course of this taxiway. Let's see. Oh, easily, yeah. Okay, next waypoint. Well, this is life, I tell you. Cape Byron Lighthouse is next. Oh, I think the cape that this lighthouse is on must be around here somewhere. I can't see the lighthouse, but that thing sticking out sure looks like a place I'd put a lighthouse. Maybe it's shorter than I think it is. Oh, I, I think I see it now. Oh, it's on the other side of this rock. Oh, they did the whole rock, I think. Yeah, the actual lighthouse was really tiny. It's more elevator than airplane right now. Not the best textures on that cliff right now, but maybe they'll look better as we get closer, I don't know. Yeah, okay, they're getting better. Well, it's a nice model and all, but tough to get close to it. <laughs> okay. What? Mm -hmm. Well, there it is. That is your Cape Byron Lighthouse. Okay, on to the next thing. Which is just 14 nautical miles away. And that is... The Big Prawn. Right. We are off to the Big Prawn, folks. Now the Pineapple. Now the Prawn. People sure are hungry around here. Alright, where about is this big prawn? I think I'm probably too high and fast to see it. It's not that big a prawn, I'm guessing. I mean, it might be big for a prawn, but... Prawns aren't big. Alina Airport is what we're closest to right now. Oh, we're basically in a hover. Okay, well anyway, we don't want to be in a hover actually. Big prawn. Well, it's part of that complex there. Whatever it is. Oh, the lighting sure changed suddenly. I guess it loaded in some extra weather. Seriously, this has a big prawn on it somewhere? Doesn't seem big enough for a big prawn. What am I missing here? Oh, is it that few? Wait. Hmm. Let me zoom into the map a little bit more. Oh, it's uh, above this little cove. Oh, there it is. It's not nearly a big enough prawn. Yeah. There, that, that's the big prawn right there. It needs to be a bigger prawn. <laughs> Gosh, poor planes that aren't like this plane. 
How would they even see such a thing? Oh, I'm having trouble recentering now. Okay, let's just turn that off. Okay. Next, we have a long way to go. Big Banana Fun Park. Well, there better be a big banana. Right? Well, my HUD is a little bit off, and I'm sure there's a way to reset that, but I forget how that is. Now, firmly above the clouds, and head to Big Banana Fun Park, after which we're going to be headed to Sydney. That's the only thing between us and Sydney right now. Well, cruising along at 35,000 feet, staying below the sound barrier in this case. Though it's hard sometimes, it's, it's trying to go past the sound barrier, it's uh, encountering transonic drag and dipping down and trying to go past, so I have to actually throttle down to keep the nose pointed up sometimes. Yes, and the plane does not have trouble getting to higher altitudes now. That's nice. Now, maybe all those problems were with the 35A and not actually with the 35B at all. Okay, so the big banana fun park is right there. Okay, okay, okay. So, well, we're right beside the big banana fun park. Hmm. I guess it's that thing. Where's the big banana? I guess that's the big banana fun park over there? Or is it on the right here? Big banana fun park. Oh, I think it's right there. Well, I see fun. Did I see a banana? I think there might be a tiny banana there. Can't really tell. I'm satisfied that that is the big banana fun part. I think I see a banana. But the terrain is a little bit too interesting for me to attempt a closer look than that. Yep, I'm satisfied that we have seen the big banana fun park one way or another. It's not that big a banana. It's really, it's smaller than the prawn. Okay, up we go. We've got a long trip to Sydney, 200 nautical miles, so we might as well get high again. So, Coffs Harbor, home of the Big Banana Fun Park. Well, on this longer leg, 200 nautical miles, I'll see what it can do without the afterburner, but we will break the sound barrier this time. Well, not using afterburner here. We're at Mach 1.41 1 at 35,000 feet, nearing 36,000 feet. And, yep. More or less looking fine, I guess. With after, without afterburner, we're using 12,200 pounds per hour. With afterburner, 36,000. So let's keep that off. <laughs> let's just... I, I'm fine with Mach 1.42. I don't think the tripling of our fuel flow is going to really help out too much as far as the max speed is concerned compared to this. Um, with acceleration in the midst of combat, that's a whole other story. It took us a while to get to Mach 1.42 like this. So we've got some sites here. Mooney Mooney Bridge, <laughs> Oxbury River Rail Bridge, Three Sisters, Waragamba Dam, there's Northhead, uh, there's the Sydney Opera House, obviously. Uh, Stadium Australia, Sydney Cricket Ground. 
And then of course the airport. I don't know how many of those we can see very well, given the fuel. We have to land at some point, so we'll see. Okay, where are you, Mooney Mooney Bridge? I think it's right there. That's it? That seems like a very boring bridge, folks. That's supposed to be a special bridge? Because it doesn't look too special. I'm not even slowing down. That's not special enough to slow down for. You brought me all this way to see that? <laughs> okay, let's see some of the other bridges though. Maybe they're better. It's getting foggy out. Might not be the best day to tour Sydney right now. Okay, so on this channel we've got Hawkesbury River Rail Bridge and Pete's Ferry Bridge. This is, I guess, the River Rail Bridge. Wonder what those pylons are. I guess it's under construction or something? There's a bunch of uh, pylons that don't have the bridge on top of them. And then here is Pete's Ferry Bridge. Now I decided not to get the Fokker 7 for now. It is a very historic plane, especially in these grounds. We are going to be landing at Kingsford Smith International after all, but but um, I watched a review from Avangel and she noted that the one engine one was underpowered and the three engine one was overpowered and the textures weren't like amazing or anything. And I'm suspicious that they've placed the same engines on the one engine and three engine versions uh, which is not the case. The one engine version has a more powerful engine and the three engine version has less powerful engines. So anyway, we'll see how that all shapes up. Okay, well, uh, there's Sydney for you. Let's just take a look instead of having that open. Okay, let's break out of this. Uh, let's slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. it into our hover mode. Okay. So Sydney Harbor Ridge. Downtown Sydney in photogrammetry. We've got some towers here. Some are specifically modeled. Let's not land on the Harbor Bridge. Oh, there's the Opera House. So, Opera House, Downtown. Looking good. Certainly looking better than it was in the base game. Is lacking quite a lot of things. Uh, I think I'll save some of the latter stuff for later. We're, I mean, we're gonna land at the airport. We'll pass by the cricket ground and come in. Uh, just a view of the photogram tree plus some of the custom buildings like Sydney Tower. Okay, any tower. There's another bridge there. 
This one I passed, actually, Sydney Harbour Bridge, or is that one over there? Let me just quickly take a look at that bridge there. Let's move it and cross over. Oh, that's the Anzac Bridge. That's the Anzac Bridge. I didn't see Sydney Observatory, darn it. Okay, Anzac Bridge. Now, this is a bridge, see? Okay, Sydney Observatory. Oh, I guess it's... nestled in here somewhere? can't really tell what's going on. All right. <laughs> There's a nice cathedral. Don't know which one that is though. Wow, that's a serious complex right there. Now this is a sports complex. Pretty flat texture though. Interesting. Not not shiny like a lot of them are for the stadiums. There's a building missing right there. Huh. Okay, finally on to the airport. Yes, cruising right along to the airport. Hopefully our tiny bit of fuel remaining will be enough to close the rather modest gap between here and there. Even though we're still in STL mode. Maybe I can be a more conscientious slander. There are really cars all over the place here. <laughs> Where is the terminal anyway? I see the tower there. Oh, the terminal is over there. Well, that's fine. This this looks like a good place for a military landing here. I don't even know how the rudder works in this scenario. I suppose they have to tilt the nozzle to make it turn. Oh, we're down. All right, I'll take it. All right, we have parked <laughs> as such. I should probably close it all up. All right, so that is my first flight in the new Australia update with the F-35B. And I'll look forward to taking a look at the stuff between Sydney and Melbourne in a subsequent flight. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.